scale. We're going to play all three of your skills today. Start with D major, and I want you to listen very carefully to your fingers and make sure your fingers are right in tune. All right? So let's um, line up your line up your thumb. Thumb. Show, show everyone, show the kiddos your thumb. So thumb goes about halfway down the fingerboard. So like about halfway down, right? Second finger over the thumb, reach your first finger back, spread out your other fingers. So you you want your thumb to be about halfway down. So I don't quite do it at halfway mark, but like one thumb above halfway, okay? Right now, that will get you into the correct place. Okay? So if you line up your fingers that way, then your fingers will be correct. Uh, like th within just a very tiny bit. All right, let's go ahead and play the D major scale. I want you to play Mississippi Hot Dog. Ready? And go. One. Thank you. 
feel good. Now, okay, let's take a minute. We have five minutes left in practice. I want to work on your pieces, but we're going to first take a look at your bow position. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and take the bow here, and I'm going to show you a couple of different things on the bow. All right. So first of all, Simon, you know for violin, because Simon plays the violin too, that the thumb on the violin is very close to the hair. Okay, it's like your, your thumb touches the hair, and that's totally fine for violin. For cello, that is not the case. Your hand is much more over the stick like this, and your thumb kind of comes out like this. Okay, so this is violin bow, this is cello bow, all right? So you want to kind of know the differences between the violin bow and the cello bow because you play both instruments, right? Now, Josiah doesn't have the violin. His sister plays the violin, right? So he sees the violin being played, but he doesn't have experience with the violin bow. So what Josiah needs to work on here is not necessarily the thumb position, but more so the hand position here, not being all the way on the corner of the hand. Because when you hold the stick on a cello, you actually hold the stick, you push through the stick to the knuckles. So you have four knuckles here. They're kind of in the middle, right? And especially those two middle knuckles, you actually push right against those knuckles. And that's how you hold the stick in place. Your first finger is round, your pinky is round, but you don't hold the, the stick in your hand. So this part of your hand actually does not touch the bow. You see that? So one really helpful exercise that you can do is to take your thumb and put it right in the middle of your bow like this and bend it. And then you squeeze all of your fingers straight onto the stick, just like that. So your thumb is bent. You have a bump right there in your thumb. And then you squeeze all of your fingers and your fingers are actually straight. See that? That helps you get the feel of pushing the stick into those knuckles right there. So you, you're pushing against your knuckles. That's how you're holding the stick. And you have a good hold like that. You will not drop your bow. That's right. And then you slide that position all the way down to until you bump right up on the edge of the frog, but you're, you still are squeezing your fingers like that. Then you take your fingers and just wrap them around. And that is the, your position, okay? So it's really not any different from your fingers going straight out. When you round them, you're just, you're squeezing against those knuckles in the middle, just like you were out at the edge, see? And then you don't have to hang on to your bow with the, your hand, the palm of your hand. So you will see a cellist will have some space in their hand here. You will not see them hold their, their uh, frog like this. You see that? Good, that's perfect. Josiah, that's a perfect hand position right there. Excellent. I want you to work on that and get very comfortable with that because that will give you good flexibility while you play, okay? Um. 